Welcome back to the lab and a brand new series called Butter Smooth Motion Graphics. Whether you're just starting or leveling up your animations, you're in the right place here. I will keep it as short as possible and super informative. Let's break it down, learn fast and you will see your animation will look better. Today it's all about circle animations. It doesn't seem like a lot, but I will give you some tips and hints to make your animations way more engaging. So to get started for a motion graphic, you need to open up here the effects tab up here. Then here on effects, you've got fusion composition. Just drag it into your timeline and make it around 10 seconds long. We can shorten it later. Now we see no frame available for media out one. This is because we have no background here in the fusion composition. So with this fusion composition, we jump right into fusion. You see, we have only the media out, so we have no frame here. For that, just select here a background and plug it into the media out. And we've got here our background. To make it better visible, I select here my darker orange. So you can always see what I'm really animating. As a reference for the circle, I've got here rendered out the animation I showed you before. And I will place it here into the left viewer to have a reference the whole time. First, we need to have a circle. For now, we only have our background. When you look here, we have some different shapes. So today we select the ellipse. So just click on it and you see we already got here an ellipse shape. It's plugged in with the blue input, so we have a mask. So basically this mask cuts out a shape from this background and we can make with them whatever we want to. So the first step is we want to create here this circle, but only the outline. So to create only the outline here on this circle, we disable the solid and we increase here the border width. So like that, we can have only the outside. If you want to make this softer, just go here to soft edge and soften the edges as much you want it to have. To make it smaller or bigger, you can see here when you hover over the circle, here you can make the whole circle smaller or bigger. I want to adjust here the circle as big as in my preview here on the left side, like that. And now, of course, we want to have this animation so our circle fills itself out. For that, we can adjust here the length of the circle, like that. You can see we can draw here the line around and with the position, we can position here the starting point of the circles. So I put it up here, so we have here a value of 0.25. So we are here at the top point of the circle. To animate it, we are here on frame zero. So on the length, we set a keyframe. Then we go 25 frames further. Here the animation is finished. So we increase the length here all the way to one. So in this 25 frames here, it draws the line fully around the circle like that. So this is already the first step done. Then let's watch how it goes further. 10 frames, there's happening nothing and then the circle gets smaller, almost down to zero. So that means first we go to frame 35, no adjustments on the keyframe because nothing is happening. Then the next step is we make the circle smaller. So that means here on width and height, we create two keyframes on each one. And then the animation is once again 25 frames. So we go here to frame 60, and now just go here to this side and decrease the size of your circle until it's that small. So first we draw the line all the way around, 10 frames break, and then it gets smaller, like that. Two steps done. Now we have once again a break and then the circle gets bigger. But this time we have the full circle and not only the outline. So we have here this 10 frames break and in these 10 frames we need to enable the solid so that means here on frame 60 we create a keyframe on solid go these 10 frames further and enable solid so here in this 10 frames we we created a solid out of this circle then the next step is to make the circle bigger so that means we create a keyframe on width and height go once again 25 frames further and make the circle bigger like that. So here the circle gets smaller or the, the ring gets smaller. Here it transforms into a solid circle and then it gets bigger like that. Here once again 10 frames break, nothing is happening. And the next steps are we just adjusting the position of the circle. 
So that means 10 frames, nothing is happening. We need a keyframe here on the position, center X and Y. And here the animation is only 15 frames right here. And now it's up to you where you want to have the circle. You can take it here on one of these arrows. When you take it on this one, it goes only up and down and on this one only left and right. Or you can take it in the center and you can position it where you want to have. Or of course you can adjust it here on this position. So I place it here, then once again 10 frames break, keyframe only on position, we don't adjust the other things. Then here we have 25 frames, we position it right here, 10 frames break, and then we've got once again 15 frames, and we go back to the middle. So the center is always 0 0.5 and 0 0.5, press enter, and you're exactly in the middle. Then once again 10 frames break, Create a keyframe on width and height because we need to adjust the, the size of it. Go further, 15 frames and reduce it all the way to zero. And now you see in only this few minutes we've created this animation out of only one circle. So this includes creating a ring, the, the length of the ring, make from the ring the solid, we have soft edge, we have the position, we adjusted the width and the height. So you see we did all the options we have with only this circle. And now when we watch it you can see it doesn't look so smooth and so engaging. And this is why this series is called Butter Smooth Motion Graphics. So we go back to the Fusion page. And to make this look even better we open up our splines up here. Click on this and this menu will pop up. And you can see we have here the ellipse and all the keyframes we've set. Don't worry, you don't need to recognize every single keyframe you've got in here. I've got your back and I will show you how to do it in seconds. So these are all the keyframes we've did from the ring to the solid, the height, the position, everything. So to select everything, we press Command or Control A. So we have all the keyframes. And now it's important that you press F to smoothen them. Don't press S because when you press S, we've got here everywhere curves and we don't want that because we want to have stay in that position. So press only F. So we have got here these straight lines and then press T to open up this menu up here. And this is where the magic happens. Here on EasyIn, put it up to around 80, it doesn't matter too much. So every single animation that's happening happens very fast and then slow and this is what it makes so smooth so when you watch it all the animations happened like this it's not a straight line it's goes fast and then very slow and these are the smooth animations but we're not done yet the last tip and always do it at the very very end your pc will thank you go here with the ellipse mask selected to the settings and enable here motion blur, quality and shutter angle. In my opinion, it looks the best when you put both of them up to 10 and 360. Like that, you can create this butter smooth circle animation. Drop a like and a comment and tell me what you think about this series from butter smooth motion graphics. With that said, have fun creating and see you in the next one.